Hi everyone, welcome back to Next Simple Lab. If you've already downloaded my Google Sheet file, which includes a dashboard or a small app, you might be wondering, how can I turn this into a real web app that I can use anywhere online, completely for free? Before we dive in, let's take a quick look at what a web app actually is. A web app is an application that runs on the web. It works on your laptop, your phone, or even your tablet. It can display and interact with data, often called a CRUD app, which stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. Now, the great thing is your web app can run directly inside Google Sheets using Google Apps Script. Apps Script doesn't just help you build web apps. It can also automate tasks like sending emails, scheduling events, managing your Google Drive, and even automating your entire spreadsheet workflow. And today, we'll walk through how to deploy a web app directly from your Google Sheet file in just three simple steps. One, clone the Google Sheet file. Two, deploy the web app. Three, adjust the time zone setting. Clone the Google Sheet file. First, open Google Drive and make sure you're signed in with your Google account. This is where we'll make a copy of the Google Sheet file. Next, open the Google Drive link to your web app folder where the Google Sheet file is stored. In this video, the file is called Task Pro. Now, right click on the Task Pro file and select Make a Copy. You'll see a small notification appear in the bottom left corner saying, Created Copy of Task Pro. Once that's done, click on my drive and you'll see the file named Copy of Task Pro. That's your cloned Google Sheet safely stored in your drive, and that's it for step one. With the file cloned, you're ready to move on to step two. Step two is deploying the web app using App Script. First, open the cloned Google Sheet file in your Google Drive. In this tutorial, it's called Copy of Task Pro. This file will store all the data your web app uses and updates. Next, go to the menu at the top, click on Extensions, and then select App Script. A new window will open showing the file code.js. I've already written all the code for you, so you don't need to change anything here. This is the part where App Script powers your web app and lets it interact with your Google Sheet. Now let's deploy it. Look at the top right corner of the App Script window and click the blue Deploy button, then choose New Deployment. When the deployment options appear, select Web App as the type. You can enter a description for your deployment. For example, Task Pro Web App. Next, you'll need to choose who can access your web app. You have three options. Only myself, which means only you can use the web app while logged into your Google account. Anyone with Google account, which allows anyone signed into Google to access it. Anyone which makes it completely public. For this tutorial, we'll choose anyone. So the web app can be accessed without signing in. Then click Deploy. A prompt will appear asking you to authorize access. Click it, select your Google account, and you might see a warning saying the app isn't verified. Don't worry, this is normal for App Script web apps. Click Advanced, then choose Go to Task Pro. You'll see a new window pop up. Just scroll down and click Allow. This gives the web app permission to connect with your Google Sheet. After a few moments, you'll see a URL for your web app. Click Copy, paste it into a browser tab, and open it. And just like that, your web app is live and fully connected to your Google Sheet. Make sure to save this URL somewhere safe. If you ever forget it, just go back to App Script, click Deploy, then Manage Deployments, and you'll find the web app link there. Adjust the time zone setting. Step 3 is also very important, adjusting the time zone setting. Web apps use the time zone of your device, like your computer or phone. Google Sheets, however, has its own separate time zone setting. To make sure your data is accurate, you want these two time zones to match exactly. Start by opening your Google Sheet file. In this tutorial, it's Copy of Task Pro. Click on File and click on Settings. Under General, check the locale and time zone and make sure they are correct. If you're not sure what your device's time zone is, it's easy to check. On your computer, go to the search bar, type Time Zone, and open it. Now, compare the time zone of your device with the one in Google Sheets. Adjust them so they match perfectly. Once the time zones are aligned, your web app will display and record data correctly, no matter which device you or your users are using. Here's a bonus tip to make sharing your web app even easier, especially since app script URLs can be pretty long. I'm opening the web app in Chrome right now. 
right click anywhere on the page and select create QR code for this page. Once the QR code is generated, you can download it to your computer. Now take your phone, open the camera, and scan the QR code. You'll see the web app open instantly on your device. Super convenient. If you're using an iPhone or iPad, you can also use the Add to Home Screen feature in Safari. This way, your web app behaves just like an app on your phone, giving you quick access anytime. And that's it. You now have a fully deployed web app connected to your Google Sheet with the correct time zone settings and even a QR code so you can easily access it on your phone. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and or it really helps me create more content like this. Don't forget to save your web app URL and use the QR code trick to share or open it quickly on any device. If you ever need to manage your web app, you can go back to App Script Arrow Deploy Arrow Manage Deployments. If you want to learn more about Google Sheets Automation, App Script, or Building Dashboards, check out the other videos on the Next Simple Lab channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.